I just finished setting up my new space here in the basement, a great place to shoot videos. And just as I set it up, my ring light died. Yay, that's awesome. So now I have to get a new, there we go. Yay, don't breathe. Nobody breathe because apparently we have a short in the ring light and we don't want it to go out. Okay, let's get some makeup on because I have an audition. Uh, whew. Yeah, let's get some makeup on. I know you just saw me in a pink sweater, so it's not going to be very exciting. And I'm using all the same makeup, so that's also not going to be very exciting. And I'm kind of short on time, so that's not gonna be very exciting. But we are putting on makeup and uh, that seems kind of exciting. Alrighty then, let's do this thing. Getting it all out. You know what I can do when it's warm? Look at that, getting a little light. Do I need to turn on those background lights? Would it look better? It probably would. Let's turn on some background lights. See if that looks any better without touching the ring light. Yeah, it looks weird, huh? Okay. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, now we get to hear people yelling outside because I've got the door open. Yeah, it's always fun. For today's foundation, I am going to go with this is Physicians Formula that I got at CVS. Well, if we're going to have people screaming outside, oh, people are on edge screaming. Okay, so this is Physician's Formula, and I will have to look up all the information on this because I don't know it off the top of my head. It's been a while since I purchased it. Probably a little more foundation than I need, but let's give it a whirl. Using my usual brush, this is my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. I'm going to open my laptop just in case I get a text because I'm expecting one for this audition. They're going to give me a text 10 minutes before. Some under eye concealer I think is necessary. And I don't know about you, but my sleep patterns have been a little whacked lately. So I'm going with the heavy duty stuff. This is the Joe Blasco Orange Highlight. There is Orange Highlight 1, Orange Highlight 2. Orange Highlight 2 is for a darker complexion. They both have a heavy amount of opacity and a lot of orange to them. So they're great for those of us who are blue under the eyes.
but I don't like to get too much into the wrinkles because we all know what concealer does in the wrinkles, right? And it's not pretty. Where is, what did I do with that brush? How did I lose it so quickly? Oh, I set it right there. Well, that's what happens when you work in a new space that you've never worked in before. Let's get some powder on. This is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator. Using my Sigma blush palette that is available on QVC. They sent this to me at no cost. I love it because it's got all these different colors in it. We're gonna go with a little bit of this just under the cheekbone to give it a little definition. Not too much. And then I like a little under the chin. And along the jawline just to give that a little, little slight definition as well. This brush does come with it on QVC when you purchase there. I'm gonna add a little bit of sunshine using this color. And then a little pink in my cheeks. I will be getting back to all of those questions. You gave me so many wonderful questions. I'm just gonna answer a few at a time because as you know, I'm verbose. So <laughs> I don't wanna bore you too much, but I will get through all of them. I'll just try to intercut it with some other things so you're not just like watching me talking the whole time because it's kind of boring. Well, for some, some like it, some find it boring. That's why I put up, you know, that potato chip video, that short video, because a lot of people don't want to watch a long video. They just want a short video. So I could either just make short videos or just make long videos, but I thought it would be nice to offer both so that people who like either type can get their content so that I could appeal to a broader range of people. I will start, uh, when I upload them, I'll try to make it clear that this is a recut of an old video. I'm sorry that I didn't do that the first time. Sometimes we make mistakes when we do things the first time. I'm gonna put some limit. One of those great questions was what my favorite eyeshadow look was. I'm gonna do it right now. Just, this is limit. It's a soft pinky brown. Can I really just get some right in there? Blend, blend, blend. should I put on my lips? I may have to reapply it in the audition. So let's, let's go with a nice soft pink. I think this is exactly the makeup we did before. Sorry. That is a Joja lip pencil in rose. And let's apply a Joja lipstick or lip gloss. I'm gonna go with this pinker one. 
No, you know what? I'm gonna go old school. This is my Revlon lip stain in honey, I think. Wow, it's been a while. It's their number one. I, I think the very first makeup video I ever did, this is what I was using and I'm still using it. Just a nice, easy pink. I do need a little bit of a line, but I want something softer than a pencil or a liquid will give me. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette, and I'm going to use this dark charcoal color on a flat bristled brush. And then just to give that a little bit more definition, I am going to tight line on the upper lid only using my black lace from Sephora. and then I blink a lot and sniffle. Why does it do that? I don't know. Let's give the lashes a curl. I know this is almost exactly the same look that I did just a few, couple weeks ago and I'm sorry for that, but I haven't unpacked all my stuff yet. The mascara that I'm using today is from Tarte. It is Lights, Camera, Lashes. I'd like a little more definition on the eyebrows. Using that same Mad for Matte palette, this is Summer Breeze, by the way. And there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this brown in my brows. Just a little soft, just to darken them a little bit. expect to hear from them really any minute. So. Yikes, as I make everything wobble because I just have it precariously balanced here. Um, 
I think that's it. We might do a little highlight. Should we try a little highlight? Sure, why not? Oh, I know, I'll resist putting it on my nose. I'll try. Using a fan brush from Sephora. And... Big stitch. Come on, where'd you go? There's only three drawers, you couldn't have gone that far. And yet, I look in the two drawers that it's not there. No, really, you're... I took it out already. Hi. Okay. Let's just get a little up in here. And a little up in here. Just a little on the top of the nose. First time doing my makeup in my new space. It's sort of different from how I thought it would be and it's different how it will eventually be, but it's gonna work just fine for now. Thanks for watching, I love you bunches. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will talk to you very soon. I'm gonna have questions for you, or well, I'm gonna have answers for all of your questions. So keep checking back. Well, you'll get the announcements. Talk to you soon. I, wow, I did not do that well. Yeah, out of practice. Oh, I think Howard just got home and he's wondering where the heck I am. I hear footsteps above me. He's like, hello. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon.